Hi, this is Carrie Legown. I'm back again today to do another lesson with you from the Unique Learning System program. It is lesson number 19B, and it is called Visiting the Animal Shelter Number, Sense, Subtraction, and Place Value. So we are going to talk, the other day we talked about addition and adding things all together. And the addition sign is right here, which is the plus sign. But today, we're going to talk about subtraction. And the subtraction sign, subtraction means taking away. And the subtraction sign looks like this, one line right here. So this is the subtraction sign, and this is the addition sign. Today, we're going to talk about subtraction, taking things away. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to make a problem over here, and we're going to try it. Okay, bring you back over here. I have my magnets. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Take away one. Okay, so we have <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Five magnets. And we're going to take away one equals, okay? So we have five, and we need to take away one. So we need to take one of these away. I'm going to take it away and count. How many do you have left? One, two, three, four. So five. Take away one equals four, okay? That's all we do is we have five and we take away one. All right, what if it's five, take away three? Let's try that. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me get some more magnets so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, take away or subtract. One, two, three. So from our five here, we have to take away three. One, two, three. How many do we have left over? Right here. Let's count. One, two. So five take away three equals. Two. You can bring those over here. Okay. So that's how we do it. Now we're going to do it using the unique learning system program. So let me get that set up for you. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so we have Paige has five dishes, okay? Just like the problem we did over there. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna take away one, okay? And so they want us to cross it off. And how we cross it off is we press on it like this. like that. So they want us to take away one. So we had five and we took away one equals one, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to find the four over here. Five take away one equals four. So here's the five. We took away one. And how many do we have left was four, okay? So let's do another problem together so we can see about taking things away. All right, here we go. Here's the example. We had five, we took away one, and how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. 
Don't forget, if you have a communication device, you can take out your numbers on your communication device and use it there. And here's the number four. All right. So five, take away one is four. All right, let's hear about Drew. Drew sees six dogs. He sees six dogs. He sees three dogs walk away. All right, so let's count how many he has. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to write in the number six here. And he sees three dogs walk away. So I'm going to put three here. Now we have to cross off three to see how many are left. All right, so let's cross off three because he saw three dogs walk away. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three. How many are left without the X? So let's count them. One, two, three. So three, so six, take away three equals three. Here's this one. So we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Who can find the number six over here? Point to it. <clears throat> if you point it here, you are correct. And then we have three. Three. You can trace it with your finger if you want. Who can find the number three? Point to it. There's the number three. So we need to cross off three dogs. Here we go. One, two, three. How many do we have left? One, two, three. Who can find the number three here? Point to it. There's that number three. So six, take away three equals three. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We have seven cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we take away two. There's the X's, one, two. How many do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Who can find the number five? Point to it. You point it here. You are correct. Seven cats take away two equals five. All right, let's move on. Okay, so let's hear about Drew. Drew has nine blankets. He has nine blankets. He puts away one blanket. He takes away one blanket. So that means we have to cross off one. How many are left? Let's count the ones that do not have an X on it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who can find the number eight here? Point to it. If you pointed to this number eight, eight. You are correct. Nine, take away one, equals eight, okay? Nine. Nine, match that nine. If you point it here, you are correct. Nine. Minus. Minus or take away. One. One, find that number one, point to it. 
There's that number one. Equals eight. Eight. Excellent job. <clears throat> oh, the man's running to get to the next page. All right. So, whoops. Let's do this one, okay? There we go. Page has six scarves. Page has six scarves. There's six. Six. Who can match the number six? Point to it or trace it with your fingers along the dots. You pointed here, you are correct. Minus. Minus. She puts away four scarves. So she puts away four scarves. Let's four. find the number four. Point to it. If you point it here, you are correct. Six take away four equals. How many are left? All right, so we need to cross off four scarves. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. How many are left? Let's count. One, two. Who can find the number two? Point to it. <clears throat> you pointed here. You are correct. Six, take away four equals two. So we had six and we marked off four of them and we have two left over. There it is again, six, take away four. Who can find that answer? Point to your answer. Six, take away four equals If you pointed to two, you are correct because there's two left over. One, two. All right, let's hear about Drew. Drew has seven dishes. So he has seven dishes. I'm gonna write the number seven. He fills one dish. He fills one dish. How many are left? How many are left? Seven, take away one. So we have to cross off one. How many do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, take away one equals six. Okay, let's try it on this one. <clears throat> seven. Who can find that number seven? Point to it. If you point it here, you are correct. Minus. Minus or take away one. One. Find that number one. There's that number one. So we have to cross off one. And how many do we have left? Count them. And point to your answer over here. All right, let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six. And if you pointed to the number six here, you are correct. Seven, take away one equals six. Excellent job. All right. Here it is again. 
seven. Take away one equals, point to the answer. I'll give you a hint, it's in this row. You can find the answer, it's in this row. Point to it. If you pointed to the number six, you are correct. Excellent. All right, let's see about Paige. Paige is counting dogs. Paige counts nine dogs. All right, let's find the number nine. nine. Point to the number nine. <clears throat> You pointed here, you are correct. Take away two. Two. Who can find the number two? Point to it. Find that number two. If you point it here, you are correct. So she sees. She sees two dogs walk away. All right, so cross off two. Here we go. One, two. How many are left? How many are left? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who can find the number seven over here? Point to it. <clears throat> If you point it here, you are correct. Nine, take away two equals seven. Excellent job doing subtraction. All right, there it is again, ready? Nine, take away two. Count how many are left. You count them. Who can find the correct answer over here? If you counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and found the number seven over here, you are right. Excellent job. Nine take away two equals seven. All right, now I'm gonna write it in again for you. Drew pets 10 cats. All right, so Drew pets 10 cats. 10 cats, okay? He sees one cat walk away. He sees one cat walk away. Let's put the number one here. 10, take away one. So we have to cross off one cat. How many are left? How many are left? If you can count the cats by yourself, go ahead and count them now. All right, let's count them together. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Nine are left. So ten take away one equals nine. All right, let's do it and match some numbers. Here we go. Find the ten. ten. Point to the ten. If you point it here, you are correct. Take away one. One. Find that one. Here's that one. All right, so we have to cross off one. There we go. How many do we have left over? Point to it. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. Point to the nine. You pointed here, you are correct. 10 take away one equals nine. All right, there it is again. 10 take away one equals, find your answer. Point to it. If you pointed to nine, you are correct. Great job doing some subtraction problems, everybody. Here we go. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Drew pets seven cats. So Drew has seven cats. Take away. He sees three cats walk away. Three. So they crossed off three. One, two, three. How many are left? All right, count how many are left. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Who can find the number four over here? Point to it. There's that number four. Seven take away three equals four. And we took away three because three cats walked away. <clears throat> All right, let's try this one now. We have a bigger number, okay? Page folds 15 blankets. There's 15 blankets. Let's find the number 15. Oops. There we go. Here's the number 15. And we took away seven. So let's cross off seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's find the number seven, point to it, it's in this row. So point it here, you are correct. So 15, take away seven, let's count how many do not have X's on them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right. Who can find the number eight? It's in this row. Point to it. There's the number eight. Fifteen take away seven equals eight. All right, let's do one more with a bigger number. Here we go. Drew has 18 scarves. Let's find the number 18. Who can find the number 18? It has a one and an eight in it. Point to it. You pointed here. You are correct. 18 take away six so we have to cross off six because he puts away six scarves let's put away six ready one two three four five six six find that number six it's in this row point to it <clears throat> Here's that number six. So he had 18 scarves and he put away six. How many does he have left over? Let's count, ready? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you can find the number twelve, point to it. If you want to match, I'll show you the number 12 on my whiteboard. Okay. There's the number 12. If you can find the number 12, point to it. You pointed here. You are correct. 18 take away 6 is 12. Here it is again, 18, and they crossed off six. And the ones that are left over is 12, and you can match the 12 again. The 12 is one and the same. Point to that number 12. If you point it here, you are correct. All right, 17. Paige has 17 dishes. She fills two dishes. Okay, so she has 17 dishes and she fills two of them. So that means we have to cross off two. Here we go. One, two. How many are left? How many are left? Let's count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If you can find the number fifteen over here, point to it. It has a one and a five in it. If you want to match it, there's the number 15, one and a five. Okay. You pointed to here. You are correct. 17 take away two is 15. All right, we are going to move on to get to my page real quick. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> right here in this stack. There are 10 blocks. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. Drew walks 14 dogs. Show how many tens. Show how many ones. So he walks 14 dogs. Okay, so there's ten, one tens, oops, 10 plus what is 14? We have to count four of these. One, two, three, four. So 10 plus four, is 14 and that's how you show it using a tens block so how many tens and how many ones one tens one tens block and how many of these one two three four that's one another way to write the number 14. all right so 
Thank you so much for doing the subtraction lesson with me. It was great to see you all again. Um, and I will be back with another lesson soon. Bye-bye for now.